Good morning. It's really dark. And I'm wearing a tight pin mic. <laughs> I'm hoping this will um, improve the audio quality in the car. We shall see. I also have a Red Bull. Showtime. There's so much going on right now. My last video about the uh, bariatric procedure has been... Well, it's a lot of attention on Facebook, which is um, good. Lots of people asking questions, which is good. And I don't, I don't often get that much, um, you know, feedback. But on this, I had a lot. So a few questions have been asked. When am I having the procedure? Uh, next year, early next year. Where am I having the procedure? Well, that's gonna be in a clinic in Belgium. Uh, I basically did a lot of asking around, research, Google. It turns out the most experienced person in the procedure that I want is in Belgium. Certainly in Europe, anyway. What else have I been asked? What does the procedure do? So, um, it's a little bit like part gastric sleeve, because it makes a pouch, as it, as it makes your stomach smaller, and part gastric bypass. It bypasses part of your small intestine, so you, can, you absorb less calories from the food you eat. Cool. Unlike a gastric sleeve, the sleeve portion of the stomach isn't permanently cut away and thrown in the bin it's it's still there it, they, they leave the stomach to produce digestive fluids and things which then get mixed in with the rest of the food that you eat further down the digestive tract tract that's a good word um, it gets benefits wise uh, why not a sleeve or why not a bypass well I've had I've had a gastric band already and it hasn't really worked for me. It's awful, if anything. It's uncomfortable. I don't like living with it. I don't mind loss of appetite. That's, that's what I want. But I don't want to feel like food is stuck in my throat all the time. It's just uncomfortable. It, it's, um, it's just it's awful. And I haven't lost much weight as a result of it. Any weight I've lost has been purely through willpower. I've had very little assistance from the band. Um, what else has been asked? I should have written these things down, shouldn't I? Well, how much will it cost? It's going to cost um, about £7,000 by the time you pay to travel. I'm going private and not, um, this isn't a, um, I, I, I'm a firm believer in if you have the means to pay your own way, pay your own way. Leave the NHS for people who really need it and can't afford it. So. Um, ba, 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 ba. If you're American, the NHS is our um, state-funded um, um, health system. It's very, very good. Oh, um, what what will it be like? What are, what's the um, what's the diet like on it? Well, for a few weeks before I have the surgery, I'll be on a very low fat diet to shrink my liver. The smaller my liver, the easier it is for the surgeon to work his magic. And then after the diet, I'll be on pretty much liquids and soft foods only for the first month or so. So I would expect the, the weight loss during that period to be dramatic and significant. We shall see. Uh, after that, I can pretty much return to eating anything I like. I just have to be careful. Um, unlike a, a traditional gastric bypass, even eating a single chocolate can get you in the bathroom. With this, I can, if I, in moderation, I can be sensible. I can eat normal meals. I just can't, uh, you know. There's still that limitation of having too much fat entering your digestive system straight away. 
but it's not nearly as harsh as it is on a, a traditional bypass. There you go. I've seen quite a lot of people reporting. I haven't seen any failures. I've seen people complaining on a, on a standard bypass that it hasn't worked for them. Not many. But they, you know, they say their appetite hasn't gone away and they're... I don't know. I don't know what the situation is there. I don't know. The thing is, I sometimes think I'm hungry and I'm not. I just fancy food because I really like food. Food's great. So sometimes that's what it is. I don't know whether I'm actually hungry or whether I'm just being greedy or, you know, I'm, I'm craving snacks. I don't know. I don't know. But I do find that when my when I'm satisfied and when I'm not hungry, I'm the best diet in the world. And what I mean by that is, if I'm not hungry, I have lots of willpower and I can eat healthily. And when I've managed to to graze through the day, I've been very good. I haven't I haven't blown my diet at all. The, the my my weak point is at the end of the day when I've just finished I've just finished the gym or it's been a very busy day and I haven't eaten for a while and then I'm tired I'm I just want to sit down <coughs> and chill out for a bit and that's when I struggle with the takeaways so because then it's just oh, I can't be bothered making anything and then I order in so if this helps me control that a by appetite you know the amount of food I can actually eat and also by um, malabsorption so and even so what I do eat not all of it gets absorbed then it's going to be very successful indeed I, I think that'll fit right into my my habits and be very very useful and helpful well I've spoken a lot so that's I've just been giving you so much, much information as I can about the uh, the procedure so I'm nearly at the gym again it's becoming a habit um, stay tuned and um, hmm. I've got some personal non weight loss related news I bought a shiny new thing well, I shall uh, it's a really fancy shiny new thing as well I'll, uh, I'll be back in a bit <laughs> I'm trying. Not, I'm honestly. I promise you. I'm not. I'm trying not to do this. Tune in later for more news. I'm not doing that. Although it seems the last two videos. That's exactly what I have done. Anywho, I'll speak to you later. Bye bye. Hey guys. Oh, microphone in my chin. Ah, oh, that was fun. So we just did um, biceps, 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 and then a load more biceps. I don't. I can barely steer the car. If I didn't have power steering, I'd be screwed right now. Um, yeah, so that was good. Just biceps. Pyramid bicep sets, straight bar biceps, rubber band biceps. So many biceps. So, um, yeah, I bought a new car. Um, a few people ask what I drive. This is a Lexus RX 450H. Um, had it last year, been lovely. But uh, I was in the in the dealer a couple of days ago talking about um, oh, there, there was a recall on this. They had to fix the the rubber door things, and um, um, I was looking at the, the 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 information for the new LC five hundred, their new supercar, the new sports car, and I haven't had a really fancy sports car for quite some time, so I've put a deposit on. Yay! It's coming in the summer. I'm really looking forward to it. I don't know why. I've been driving SUVs now for quite a while. I really like them. I really like these, the Lexus RX. It's such a nice, big, comfy car. And the new one is terrific. It drives so well. One of the problems the outgoing models have had is they were very floaty, overly soft. But this drives like a car. It turns in quite sharply. The steering is precise. The suspension isn't wallowy. You know, it feels... It drives like a, an executive saloon rather than a, an SUV. It's fantastic. But uh, yeah, so I've got a, uh, a 400 and something horsepower 5 litre V8 supercar on the way. But it's a super coupe or a super GT. It's, 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 more, like, it's more like an Aston Martin or a Maserati than a, a Ferrari. Um, but that's nice. I've had Ferraris and they're... Um, 
they're not very practical day-to-day -day cars to be honest with you just tweak that a little bit there mm, I do like Lexus and the one of the things one of the criticisms they've had is that they're a bit boring well the Lexus since the LFA that, that the hypercar they made a few years ago there's been a big shift in the company to, to no longer make boring cars and that shows all the time now the this the rx this, this is the 450h longbow the the new gsf which is coming um they just made their cars much more exciting and interesting and if, don't get me wrong from an engineering point of view i've thought they've always been interesting they're so well made it's insane they're quiet they don't rattle they go forever i once had a 20 year old lexus gs one of the first ones, one of the ones uh, coach built at Benferina. Beautiful car. And I did nothing to it. It was 20 years old. It had 300,000 miles on it. And the only thing I had done is regular servicing. And after about 15, 16 years, I changed all the rubber bushes, the stuff, you know, the perishable parts. I changed all the exhaust mounts and the, some of the brake lines and, you know, just stuff that can perish over time. But it was perfect. No oil leaks, no. I changed the battery you know it was just routine stuff and it drove it was tight it drove like a new car fantastic they just run forever I've never had a German car with that level of quality that has had that you know but you know it's it depends what you like I mean the German cars have you know comparable engineering quality and they're a bit more fun so um, I, I because I do quite a lot of miles as a, as a I spent years working as a contractor, traveling all over the country. So I needed a car that was quiet and relaxing and it <laughs> didn't have to worry about whether it would start or not. And that's exactly what you get with a Lexus. You get, uh, it'll just work. But now they've gone all crazy. And this, this one, I mean, this is a crazy looking SUV. It's, it's bonkers. It's got huge grill. It's got sharp angles all over it. It's nuts. The, uh, I've never had a Lexus that's been a head turner before. But whenever I drive this around, it just it just gets attention. You know, colour coded wheels and a bit 20, 20 inch rims, I think they are. Mad gadgets. Anywho, that was a good arm session. Good arm session indeed. One weekend to Christmas, but well, this weekend, next weekend is Christmas. I have no idea what I'm going to do for Christmas or for video blocks. Guys, look, if you're watching this, um, well, if you, that's a stupid thing to say. If you have any ideas on what you'd like to see me mention or comment or questions, I'll drop a link, put a Facebook, Twitter me or whatever. That's fine. Just, um, yeah, if you have any suggestions or anything you want to see, please do. So I'm going to do my little, I mean, my little farewell piece here and now on account of the fact that I'm rushing to get into the house before the delivery guy comes with my delivery. So thank you again for watching. A little bit of a unfocused one this week. Please, please keep subscribing and liking and following and all the good stuff I really 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 appreciate all the feedback and the comments um, hit me up on Twitter or Facebook you know and um, thank you so much for following I will see you all on the next video thank you so much bye bye